everyone! Welcome to my kitchen! So, babalik tayo ngayon sa ating Dilata series. Bakit ka mo? Kasi nga, napatagal na naman ang ating quarantine. Nasa MECQ na tayo. So, I'm sure marami sa inyo ang may mga canned goods sa kanika nilang mga kusina. At marami rin ako mga requests kung paano nga i-upgrade ang kanilang dining experience. So, for today, gagawa ako ng recipe using tuna at hindi lang isa, kung hindi dalawa. So, let's start cooking! Okay, so let's start. Painitin muna natin ang ating pot. So for the first recipe, I'll be making my cream tuna and mushroom pasta. So I have here already ang ating pasta noodles which has been cooked according to package directions. Of course, drained from the water at naglagay na rin ako ng konting olive oil para hindi siya magdipit again. So first thing that we need, we have here our butter. So we're just gonna add the butter and our oil sa ating pan. Of course, because as I've mentioned before, butter has a low smoking point. So, mabalis siyang masunog. There. So, let's just melt our butter into the oil. When we add oil, so ang nangyayari dyan, hindi masusunog agad yung butter. And you want the flavor of your butter dito sa ating dish. Sabi nga ni Julia Child, everything tastes better with butter. There. Okay, and then, of course, sa ating usual gisa, we add in our... Okay, let's start with the onions first. Onions. So, if you have white onions, you could also use that. But since I have red onions, hindi tayo pwedeng choose ngayon. Mahirap bumili ng mga ingredients. So, use whatever it is you can find in the market. Yeah, we have onions and our garlic. There. So once it's fragrant and aromatic and soft, we can add in our bell peppers. So I have here red and green bell peppers. So I want to add that to the dish to add color. And then we always eat with our eyes. So we'll just cook this until it becomes a little bit soft. Okay, so once I've softened the ating bell peppers, we could now get our canned mushrooms. So this is of course from Mega Prime. I love how easy it is to open. So let's just drain off the water. Let me just put in the water there. Okay. And once drained, let's add it to our pan. So let's continue to saute it. Okay, so pag nag-soften na yung ating bell peppers at naluto na ng slight ang ating mushrooms, we could now add in our tuna. Of course, I'm using mega tuna as well, which also comes in an easy open pan. So let me just get this. And of course, we'll drain it again. Yan. Okay. And then we add this to our pot. There. So let's just mix all of that. And then we season with some salt and pepper. But then I'll clean it. So maganda, if you're also eating canned goods, maganda naglalagay rin kayo ng mga vegetables, okay? It's very important that we eat a lot of vegetables to boost up our immune system. We have to eat healthy, lalo na ngayon mga panahon ngayon. Okay, so now that we've seasoned it with some salt and pepper, I'm now going to be adding our chicken stock. Kung sa mga nanonood, don't worry. I'll put the recipe sa ating description box so you could try to do this at home. That's our chicken stock. So we'll just let this all come together. Let it boil and simmer. Tapos babalikan natin siya. Okay, so it has already simmered. We can now add in our cream on very low heat. There. Pero na ako nagawang isa pang sardine recipe. Yung aking, eh, yung tuna recipe pala. Yung aking tuna fried rice. So this is another recipe that you could add 
sa inyong mga gagawin during quarantine, di ba? So, something special. Kahit na baktan, good yan. You can always make it extra special. So, let's just add our cream. Let it all come together. There. And then, I'll be adding some lemon juice. So, this is about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I have here some lemon zest. Ito yung actually yung balat ng lemon, yung pinakamanipis lang na part. You remove it, take out the white part kasi that's bitter. So it adds fragrance and flavor to your dish. Okay, so we'll just let this come together. Ayan. And then we season this again with some pepper. There you go. So at this point, ayan, we'll just let it all come together. Titikman ko na rin muna siya para malaman ko kung ano bang lasa. Siyempre, kakainin namin ito ng mga kids ko later so it really has to taste good, di ba? Mmm! Very creamy. Okay, so actually, this is done already. What I'm gonna do next is, actually, pwede nyo ilagay yung pasta noodles dito and then let the sauce and the noodles come together or you could plate it rin naman separately. So, I'll do it separately later. Okay, so while I'm letting the pasta sauce simmer, gagawin ko na yung aking second recipe using again tuna. So, this time I'll be making my tuna milk quesadilla. I'm sure you're very familiar with this dish. It's very easy to make as well and you need basic ingredients lang din. So, of course, we need our tuna, so let me just open the can. And I just need to drain this. Ayan, hanggang natin. Hanggang natin yung oil. And take out all the tuna from the can. Diba? Dami naman sa isang can. There. What I love about Mega Tuna, hindi siya malansa, unlike ibang brands. Saka yun nga, when you open it, hindi siya pala yung oil. Marami talaga siyang laman. There. So, okay. Let's just place it here in our bowl. And then we get our we have your mayonnaise. So let's just get our mayonnaise. Okay. And I'm adding a little bit of mustard to this um, tuna milk quesadilla. But if you can't find mustard, okay lang din. You could actually just Remove that from your recipe. And then I have here some lemon juice. Okay. And then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So of course, when we say quesadilla, kailangan natin ng tortilla. So pwede kayong bumili niyan sa inyong grocery. Here, like I have here. So this one I got yung whole wheat, pero meron din yung plain lang yung flour tortilla, pwede rin yun. We just take up leaves and so let's just mix everything. There. Okay, so this is our tuna mixture. So kaya ko pinawin na tuna quesadilla milk is because we're gonna be putting some cheese. So I have here some cheddar cheese, grated cheddar cheese. So we need our tortilla. So let's just put it here sa ating on top of our tortilla. To make sure lang that everything is covered. There. I'll just wipe my hands and I will spoon our tuna mixture in on top of the cheese. Okay. Patay ng tuna mixture. Pakita natin sa kanila. Medyo lumapit ka dito. Ayan, camera. <laughs> there. So just spread it like so. This is actually a good um, snack recipe for the whole family. Bukod sa madali na siyang gawin, it's flavorful and it's healthy. But another way of enjoying your tuna, your canned food. Okay, let's just place it there. Okay. And then we cover it with another layer 
of our tortilla. Pero dahil gusto ko pang mas maging cheesy siya, so let's add more cheese on top. This is gonna be so good, believe me. And it's a no-brainer. Diba? Sobrang daling gawin. You could even ask your little kids to help you in the kitchen. So let me just cover this. At painiti ko na yung aking video. Okay, so mainit na yung ating pan. So let me just add a little bit of butter. So maganda rin maglagay kayo ng butter aside from flavor kasi magpa-crust ng maganda yung ating tortilla. Okay, so now we get our tortilla. There, and we slowly just let it. Para ito toast lang natin yung ating tortilla. Actually, if you can find tortilla wrap, you can also use just use regular bread. Pwede rin naman yun. Pero ako parang, para lang mas maganda tignan since meron din naman akong tortilla. So I decided to make this into a quesadilla. So we'll just let this toast for around 2 minutes per side and no mag brown lang siya. And once you see that the cheese starts to melt. Okay. So we could leave it like that. Okay, so we'll check the other side now. Ayan, oh, medyo nag-brown na siya. So, ito toast lang natin ulit yung kabilang side to get the color. Okay, so ang ganda na ng pagka-brown ng ating tuna milk quesadilla. Okay na rin ang ating sauce for our cream tuna and mushroom pasta. Let me just plate this and I'll show it to all of you later. Okay, so let me just get our cooked pasta noodles. Plate put it on a plate, like so. However you want to style it, pwede. Pwede rin mong family style. Okay lang din yan. And then, kuha tayo ng sauce, of course. Our tuna sauce. A creamed tuna and mushroom sauce. Let's just plate it there. Let it fall naturally on the pasta. There. Siyempre kailangan merong bell peppers, may mushroom, merong tuna. There you go. And let me just wipe the plate off. There you go. Lagyan natin siyempre ng parmesan cheese. Ayan. Pang palas at pang pasarap pa lalo. And of course, para may kulay pa, lagyan natin ng parsley. Lantay ng parsley dito. There. Okay, so just rough chop for added color and effect. There you go. See, look at that. Diba? Napaka simple. And now, what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do with the tuna milk quesadilla. So we have our quesadilla. So let's just slice this into four. Ayan. Four equal parts. Look at that. Pakita natin. Ayan na. Tingnan nyo. Talagang nagme-melt siya. See? It looks very simple. And it's actually a very simple dish. Pero pag, hmm, pag kinain nyo, nako, simple pero rock. <laughs> Ayan, I'm done with my tuna recipe sa aking tuna milk quesadilla na pwedeng pumirienda. At ang aking cream tuna in mushroom pasta na pwede namang pang lunch and dinner. <laughs> Sabi ko nga, ang canned food doesn't have to be boring. You just need to be more creative, lalo na ngayon. So I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. Sana naman ay may natutunan kayo at magawa nyo ito para sa inyong mga pamilya. Siyempre, mag-iisip pa ka ng ibang recipes which I could share to all of you. In the meantime, please keep safe, stay at home, and God bless you all. Bye!